Coming off a career-high season where he led the NFL in tackles, Bobby Wagner has once again hit the 100 mark, something he's done all six years in the NFL. I feel like I'm playing really well. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I feel like uh, I'm in a good groove. I feel like I got a good grasp of the defense. Um, I feel like I'm you know, calling plays, seeing plays uh, a lot cleaner um, than I have. So um, I feel a lot of feel faster. I think he's um, more, more precise in his pass drops. I mean, he, he's worked hard at that stuff, and, and he's in throwing lanes. Uh, his his anticipation is probably it is the best it's been in terms of breaking back up on stuff, throwing underneath him. Um, uh, last game was was a great example of that. There's a number of plays, uh, keeping short passes to minimum gains that that he's great at. Um, but he, he's you know he's been terrific for years now, and that's why he keeps throwing these numbers up there. And the scheme stayed the same, and he's a master of it. And he, you know he totally owns what we're doing and the adjustments, and, and and he anticipates beautifully because of all that. The numbers prove Carroll's point. Wagner sits one away from tying his career high in passes defended with five games left on the season. Another way he continues to grow is in his expanding leadership role, especially with Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor out. You just have to, you know, do more. I feel like the, like, you know, Coach was saying earlier, um, some of the communication that, you know, Cam would have, you know, me and KJ have to have to take over or, you know, have to make a little bit more calls and make sure everything is, is set. Um, but um, I think it's just, you know, we have to communicate more. You know, you can't just lead everything to, you know, the verbal communication that you may have established with Cam or Earl or Sherm. You have to make sure that you, you know, everybody's on the same page and everybody's, uh, you know, thinking the same thought. Because, you know, when Cam and Sherm is there, you know, you know that you're thinking the same thought. Um, when they're not, it's like you're wondering if they are or not. So you just have to make sure it's, uh, it's a lot clearer. You know, he's had to step up uh, where he might have heard the communication on the back end happen and he might look over his shoulder and make sure things are right. Um, in particular with, uh, with Bradley, you know, with he, uh, Bobby and Earl and, and KJ, they're all trying to get the right conversation going so we can maximize the identification and the communications and stuff like that. They're working at that. The two-time All-Pro's name has been in the conversation for defensive MVP, a goal he hopes to accomplish at some point in his career. While you can't vote for who wins MVP, you can help vote for who goes to the Pro Bowl. Voting is open now.